Hi everyone, it is very honored to introduce to you Circle Loss. I am Yifan Sun from MacV Technology. In this work, we propose a novel loss function for deep representation learning. We also provide a unified viewpoint for understanding popular loss functions. As we know, deep representation learning tasks include face recognition, person re-identification, fine-grained image retrieval, and so on. Given the query image of interest, we aim to find the most similar image among the gallery. The keynotes of such a deep representation learning task are within class compactness and between class discrepancy. In another word, we want to maximize the within class similarity as p and to minimize the between class similarity as n. Basically, there are two elemental paradigms for deep representation learning. First, given class level labels, we usually train a classification model with the classification loss function. For example, the well known soft class cross NGP loss or its valence. Second, given pairwise labels denoting whether two images are from the same identity or not, we will conduct pairwise learning with pairwise loss functions, for example, triple loss and n pair loss. Among these popular loss functions, we observe a similar optimization pattern. We find that they all embed SP and SN into similarity pairs and seek to reduce SN minus SP. With this insight, we first propose a unified loss function as below. So here is the loss function in which there are k pieces of SP and L pieces of SN associated with a single image. Such a loss function is very intuitive. It is raised through every similarity pair and seeks to reduce them. Given corresponding configuration, it degenerates to a lot of loss functions, including the softmax loss and the triple loss. It thus provides a unified viewpoint to understand two different learning paradigms. Based on such a unified interpretation, we make a very simple generalization and get a new loss function. We generalize Sn minus Sp into L of N Sn minus L of Psp. In another word, we assign an independent weighting factor to each similarity score. The motivation here is that we find reducing Sn minus Sp is prone to inflexible optimization and ambiguous convergence. Before convergence, the penalty on both Sp and Sn are restricted to be equal, which lacks flexibility. Upon convergence, any points on the line boundary are acceptable. Assume both T and T hat have SP larger than SN by 0.3. The actual gap between the SP and SN is only 0.1. It thus compromises the discriminative ability of the learned feature space. In contrast, when optimizing alpha SN minus alpha PSP, things become different. For status A, it lays emphasis on enlarging SP, while for status B, it lays emphasis on reducing SN. Moreover, it typically has a convex convergence boundary. Such a boundary favors the specified convergence. Given the detailed formula, we will find that the boundary is actually circular, so we name it as the circle loss. Uh, the above analysis becomes more explicit when we compare the gradients of these loss functions. In summary, by generalizing SN minus SP to alpha SN minus alpha PSP, we obtain a more flexible optimization approach towards a more definite convergence. Experimental results confirm that circle loss achieves competitive performance on face recognition, person re identification, and fine grained image retrieval. We also note that circle loss is competitive for both classification learning and pairwise learning paradigms. More importantly, we observe experimental evidence of more flexible optimization and more definite convergence for circle loss. To sum up, this work makes three contributions. First, we provide a unified optimization viewpoint to understand popular loss functions. Second, within a single formula, circle loss is competitive for both learning with class level and pairwise labels. Third, we achieve consistent improvement on three specified visual tasks, including face recognition, personal identification, and fine-grained image retrieval. So that is all for my introduction. Thank you all.